How you doing? Ryan Stewart here in beautiful downtown Miami, and I'm getting ready to do our first marketing takeover. I am here at the House of Transformation. It is a personal training studio where we are going to go inside and get ready to meet the team and talk about the business and discuss how we can help. Let's go inside and take a look. I'm Louis Barone, I'm one of the three owners here, and I help operate the business. I'm Joa, I'm the general manager here. So I look at a lot of the numbers and, and hopefully those numbers are gonna change now with Ryan's help. I know for me, I'm really excited to have Ryan here because Ryan is a friend of mine. I've known him for a few years now. I know he's very good at what he does. And um, you know, our hope is to get somebody who can really just dive into our specific business, our specific model with our specific intentions and uh, help us really deliver on that and market that in a way that makes sense to people so that they can draw the value because we know that there's plenty of value here just with the transformations that we've helped people achieve at this point. So the studio is 1,700 square feet. We took over the studio about two and a half years ago. It was, it was already a gym. Since then, we've filled it up with some more equipment and we've changed the layout. Our main thing here is that we are a personal training studio. So we do that one of two ways. Uh, we have obviously one-on-one -on -one personal training. We have 11 trainers on staff, except for one boxing coach. We don't have any contractors that just come pay. They're all a part of the team, part of the system. And then we have a hybrid model, which is uh, which we call assisted coaching. The client is running on an app, so we have a training app where we can track all their progress. We can upload programs, we can upload documents, um, and we can track track and measure a bunch of different things that we use to help get them a result. So every if I'm a customer that comes in, I have my own tab. Yeah, basically. every every client has their own program that they're running on. All the programs are built by me and our other head trainer, and they're all progressive. So. For three weeks, the program uh, each week progresses. It becomes a little bit more difficult. It could be in sets and reps. It could be in the complexity of the exercise. And then at the end of those three weeks, the program changes completely. Our, our goal is just to build with what we have. We want to maximize our capacity. And I don't think we've done that yet. Cool. Why don't we talk about the numbers? Okay. All right, so I appreciate you running me through the business. I got a good feel for what you guys do here. Let's talk a little about marketing and numbers. So tell me a little bit about what you guys have done for marketing to date and how you guys have got customers to come through the door. Okay, so we're currently now in year two and a half. We got affected by COVID, so our number was really more like, or our date was really more like uh, June, June 8th, right, 2020. Um, so now two and a half years later, a lot of what we've done has been organic. The first two years were definitely organic. Um, it was just friends of friends. Early on, we, we had some influencers in here, and so that helped our reach. Everything, most of it was referrals. Okay, so most people were coming in organically from referrals. Yeah, and our closing percentage was something like 89%. Okay. And that was during the first year of launch, correct? The first so like right after COVID? Yeah, right after COVID, going into year two, and then just up until recently, really, I mean, that's been pretty consistent. Joe is gonna share some numbers with us, but that's been pretty consistent. Do you know how many leads that you were getting during that time period? So if you were closing 15 to 20 new customers, do you know how many like people were saying, hey, I'm interested in the gym? Let's say in March of last year, we closed 10 new people with 65 leads given. And how are you classifying a lead there? They come in either on Instagram, or the website or walk-in. Okay. And or so, referrals. So 65 people came into this business. No way. No, 65 no way. people reached out. Okay. And how many yeah. people actually did you come have, in? Did you make 18. an offer to, right? So 18. 18 people? Okay, yeah. so it's a good close rate, so it's over 50%. Yeah. And the other 65 people, they just what, just lost contact with them, just They didn't respond, uh, or said they lived too far away, okay. or they for whatever reason they didn't actually come in. And at, at that time, because you guys have changed the business model over the last six months, at that time, when, when you're closing almost 50%, what was the offer that you were making to customers? The average customer was paying 290 a month, and that was a three day a week schedule. Okay, and at what point did you shift off of that model? Um, the beginning this, of this year. The beginning of this year, we changed that model. Joe showed me the numbers. Quarterly, you did what, almost 90,000 this quarter, right? I think it was like 85,000 or something this quarter. Maybe 85, 83. Of that 85, 
how many people are still paying the $290 per month? Do you know? No, we still have to analyze that. Yeah, because we've changed the business so much, you know, the back end, the CRM that we use, it's not, you know, you, you have to make it work for you. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to run some of these reports, but those are some of the things that we're looking at. We're literally doing that manually now, pulling a list, an entire list of our active clients and then sorting them. And even then, we still have some people on the 250 from back in the day. Not many, yeah. but we still have some of those. So just sorting those out, it's a part of what we're doing right now as well. I think it's worthwhile to go through and look at that data because I think what you're gonna wanna look at is old customers that have been OGs, yeah. <laughs> right? Like your OGs are really what kind of like build the core of your gym, right? They help with the culture. They, you know, are the ones that always pay. They're the ones that show up. My hypothesis is that a lot of your revenue that you're doing right now is still from that old model of people who came to know and love the house that when I worked out here, I came to know and love too. But I think that you have to take that revenue out of anyone on the 290 model and then relook at your numbers and say, realistically, since we made this switch, right, instead of just looking at money in, money out, how has this switch impacted our business for better or for worse? I do think that it's the offer. I think you have to simplify your model to get back to a more traditional, a more standard or more comfortable offer where it's like, hey, it's only $29 per session or $35 per session, you're basically getting a personal trainer, you're getting all the accountability, all that stuff, and then you ascend them into a higher model, right? Because I think that a lot of your answers to all of your marketing actually lie in this core problem, which is just the, the core offer of the business, right? I think you simplify it, I think you strip it down. I'll work up some numbers to show you what I think about it. Because when you go out and you try and market people online and you try and bring them in, people get confused, especially when there's a million other gyms around here, right? People want something new, they want hot, they want, and what do they want the most is they want results, right? Yeah. And you guys get that, right? That's the core of what you do here. So, you know, I, I don't think you need to overcomplicate it with like all these crazy offers and models. Like people are very simple creatures, especially when we're talking about like marketing at scale, right? So. It's reflected in your marketing that I've seen in terms of the ads, in terms of the offers that you're running. It's very, it's convoluted, right? You're running a, a free 21 day. 21 day, but you get like two sessions per week for three weeks. Yeah, so it's not a bad offer per se, but if you have to they come in here and then you have to explain five times to them how to become a customer, as opposed to being like, hey, you're here for 21 days, you like it? Yeah, I fucking love it. Okay, it's gonna be $29 a session after that. Boom, they're a customer. The, the different coaches gave different advices, but one of them said have three layers to the cake, the other was like, no, just have two, and we ended up going with that, which is why we have the two. Uh -huh. But what would you recommend is best to have like the funnel and then Assisted Plus and then PT, or just the funnel and PT? I would just do one offer, and then I would I would train the your people here to be as sharp as possible, and also give them sales training to how to pluck people off the floor. But how many know? levels of ascension would you recommend? One, just one. Just keep it simple, you know? That way when you're pitching too, like when it comes to sales, like if you're on the floor pitching someone and you're like, hold on, like <laughs> let me get my whiteboard out and show you all our different models. People are like, no, this is too much. Like I'm just gonna stick with this. You know what if you're like, yeah, you wanna work with me one-on-one? -on -one? Like you want me to kick your ass? Like I got you, like it's a hundred bucks a session. Like you gotta sign up for 10 at a time. I'll discount it 10% if you sign up right now, like let's go. And you just train your people here. That way it motivates them too for them to come in and be like, okay, now I see as a trainer, how I'm gonna come into the house and start at you know 2K a month, but eventually build my book of business to get to 10K because I saw Joe do it, I saw Will do it, and like you're supporting that the whole way too. You've got a front end offer that brings people in for free. You've got a, a connection that they're made with the trainers in here that then ascend them into the monthly paid model, whatever that is, and then they come here for three months, they get results, and Joe is like, yeah, like she's got it, I know it, and she's gonna go and sell her, and you create a little competition between your people, you know what I'm saying? And that's. It's just a much simpler, much cleaner model, you know? So in terms of next steps, what I'm gonna do is I have enough information here to put together like a marketing plan and strategy. I'm gonna look deeper at the numbers. I'll even put together some thoughts a little bit more on the offer and just how I see it ascending. But I think it's worth you guys having the conversation internally to thinking about simplifying things a little bit and stripping them back down. I also don't think that you're going backwards by doing this. You're a young business and you're figuring it out. And you know, I think one of the best things a business can do actually is be like, hey, we fucked up. Like, we didn't listen to you and like, this and that, and like now we're back doing this. That's yeah. just my thought. Like, I, I, I don't think we're gonna come to an answer here. I was just giving yeah, you some yeah, opinion yeah, this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all good. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. thank Appreciate you so much. Anytime.